Hi, I'm Coach Lucas, and today we're going to be doing the kip. For the kip, we look at two different areas of the body that need to be strong. One is the shoulders, and two is the abs. Some of the best shoulder exercises we can do are all with resistance bands. One of the easiest ones to do with, uh, for kip is hands facing palms towards you, and the athlete is going to pull past the body while staying hollow, Hold for three seconds and relax. We're going to do this 10 times. And 10. Awesome. The next exercise we're going to do kind of combines both the core and shoulder muscles. The gymnast is going to jump up to a front support on the bar. And the number one priority is for them to stay in a hollow shape. They don't need to do anything else. It's all up to the coach or the spotter. The coach or spotter is going to push their legs forwards and lean their chest backwards and the gymnast is trying to pull that bar to their thighs, maintaining that shape and back up. We'll do this three times. That's one, two, and as low as possible, three. Then the spotter is going to switch to the other side and we're going to do the same thing, leaning forwards. Again, keeping body tension. One, two, three. Both these shapes are important as the gymnast is both approaching the kip to support as well as casting away from the support. All right, so leaning backwards, staying in one hollow shape and back up. That's one. You can see the gymnast's hips never deviate. One, two, good, and last one. Three. Perfect. And then switching to the other side. Again, this time the heels are leading the way while staying hollow. One, two, three. Perfect. For the next exercise, once the gymnast has mastered the leaning forwards and backwards, we're going to go 180 degree fall backwards to a candle stand position where the gymnast is forced to hold a tight hollow shape. Jump up. So in that same hollow position, the gymnast is going to slowly lean backwards, staying hollow the whole time. And then hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. We'll jump back up. For the lighter athletes who are a little bit easier to manipulate, we're going to go all the way down, hold for five seconds, and then go back up to support, mimicking the second half of the kip. So slowly down. One, two, three, four, and back up. Now we're going to move on to a little bit more of the core exercises for the kip. Of course, one of the main things is our abdominal muscles. A nice static exercise that we can do is leg raises on the wall bars. So aiming to use just our abs and not our lats to lift our legs up. The gymnast can perform this nice and slow and controlled on the way up and nice and slow and controlled on the way down. Perfect. We'll do one more. Awesome. Now moving on to a little bit more of an advanced exercise for the leg raise, and that's a swinging leg raise, where the gymnast is actively swinging out through a glide swing action, lifting toes to the bar, and then pushing them back out to that glide swing action. We're gonna do this in slow motion so we can take a look. The gymnast is gonna slide out, stretch to full open shoulders, toes are gonna to snap up to the bar, and then use the same swing to open back, repeating this back and forth. Awesome. Once we've done a lot of the physical preparation, now it's time to look at the, the skill of the kip broken down into segments. One of the most important parts is the action of the pike, getting your toes to the bar and being able to pull and push away from the bar. So we're going to do this drill where the gymnast is going to be in a front support position and the goal is to push the bum back as far as possible, keeping the toes near the bar. So as he sees, push back and he actively holds his legs up above the mat. Awesome. Let's try this one more time. Push back, great. This is great because it gets the gymnast to engage their leg muscles, their core muscles, as well as their arms at the same time. Let's take a look in slow motion. The next exercise we're gonna do for the kip is the action of shifting the body weight from below the bar to above the bar. This drill is just to pull the gymnast's hips towards the bar and is not expected to hit a front support position. 
In this shape, the gymnast is going to roll backwards so the toes are at the bar and then slide the bar up the body to the hips, pulling as high as they can off the ground. Let's take a look. Toes to the bar, up the hips. Good. And we'll do that three times. Toes to the bar, up the hips. Awesome. And the higher the shoulders can get over the bar, the better. Great. The next exercise we're going to do combines the pushback that we did on the low bar and the snap up that we did on the floor together. It's called a drop kip. From here, the gymnast is going to push back onto that invisible box. Toes stay at the bar. And then when he swings back, he's going to do the same action as he piked back up onto the floor. Let's do that one more time. So bum back, toes to the bar, wait, and then pull back up. Now we're going to combine all the steps together. First is going to be our swinging leg raise, followed by our snap to the bar into the snap up on top of the support. So let's take a look. So jump, stretch out, our swinging leg raise, our snap in, right to support. Awesome. What we're going to look at is some of the common mistakes that gymnasts make. The most common one being too early to pull on the bar. So on any bar, the bounce is going to be 180 degrees from when the gymnast starts pulling. In the kip exercise, if the gymnast starts pulling while their bum is still on the left side of the post, they're going to shoot out up and behind. This becomes problematic and gymnasts end up jumping off the bars. Let's take a look at that. Awesome. All right, let's take a look one more time. The gymnast is going to pull a little bit early and we'll see the 180 degree trajectory. Awesome. Now, on the next one that we're going to look at is a little bit closer. As gymnasts get closer and closer to the kip, they'll start to pull directly under the bar. This will allow the gymnast to get 180 degrees above the bar to a support position, but will not allow them the power to be able to cast. Let's take a look. For the perfect kip, we want the gymnast to have their bum five degrees behind the uprights so they finish with their shoulders five degrees in front. This counter lean in front is what allows the gymnast to have leverage to cast off the bar. So let's take a look if the gymnast does a little bit later. Perfect. Let's take a look in slow motion. Take note, 180 degree bounce. As the gymnast pulls with the shoulders through the bottom of the bar, slightly to the right of the upright, we then see it reflect slightly to the left of the upright on top of the bar. This is why the gymnast's center of gravity never actually hits support on top of that bar. Take note in this one where the gymnast pulls directly in line with the upright with the shoulders at the bottom. It translates to directly in line with the upright at the top. This is how the gymnast can guarantee that they've got the skill of a kip but can't transition any further until they figure out a later timing. Let's take a look at the later timing. So take note, in this good kip, we can see the gymnast doesn't pull until the body or the shoulders have hit past the uprights on the left side. This translates 180 degrees on top of the bar to the right of the upright, allowing some of the body weight to be transitioned over the bar, making it easy to transition power into a cast. Now that the gymnast has understood the lean, we're going to get the gymnast's shoulders to lean forwards ever so slightly so they can cast upwards towards a handstand. The main part of the handstand that we want to see is the gymnast stopping in planche and then using the shoulders to continue the action through to handstand. Perfect. There are hundreds of drills and skills that we can use to develop the kip. These are just a few. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is practice. Kip is a skill that takes a long time to get, but once you have it, it's yours to keep. Let's take a look as we've perfected the kip and build up towards that handstand. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays and have a great new year.